हेलो एवरीवन सो लेट अस कंटिन्यू आर जर्नी एक्सप्लोरिंग जी आर एस टेप आई अराउंड डैशबोर्ड्स इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो वी स्पेंड सम टाइम लुकिंग एट हाउ टू गेट ऑल द डैशबोर्ड्स एंड ऑफ कोर्स नो देर इज आल्सो अ पॉसिबिलिटी नाउ टू क्रिएट अ डैशबोर्ड एंड दिस कैन बी इंटरेस्टिंग एंड आई थॉट इन दिस वीडियो लेट अस यू नो look at the example here and uh, create a blank dashboard so the way it works you have to first create a dashboard which would be blank and then you need to add a gadget to a dashboard so in this video let us just create a create a simple dashboard and uh, if you look at the rest api documentation the endpoint is same basically rest api 3 dashboard but of course because we are trying to create a dashboard we have to use post and we also have to pass in the uh bare minimum fields so what we need to pass is definitely the description and uh, the name and for edit permission and uh, share permission if you pass in here blank it will it will be private so that is simple right but of course we can always uh, do a bit more than just passing blank so in this video i just want to you know show you a very simple example and what i will do i will of course you know open this uh, list of all the dashboards that i have in my jira instance so we can see when we create a new dashboard it should be listed here right so let me show you the script first and hopefully it will give you an idea like how i create my shell scripts now when, whenever it comes to like retrieving something it is always simple you have to just you know use the curl command and uh, use jq to pass the json but whenever you have to pass in a body the json has to be proper and and, and more than that uh, you need to pass uh, a proper uh, json with some values and shell script is not really a good thing good way to do it if you're doing it using let us say node node js or some other programming language and you can also uh, make sure the json is proper i'm sure there is a way to do it in json uh, in shell script but to learn uh, or to do some basic things it is more than enough to be honest and uh, what i will do i will of course you know show you the json so we we just need to pass in here the name and uh, and 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 the description so if you look here if you go back to the create dashboard the description is not really needed we need to have edit permission we need to have share permission and we need to have name so what i will do i will basically have to uh arguments in my shell script name and description that is it i just want to do something very simple and uh, i will then prepare uh, a json uh like this basically this is not this json this is not wrong uh, this is not correct i'll remove this so basically i need uh, something like this where the description would have uh, the first argument then name would have the second argument and share permission and edit permission they are blank so private and then finally i am uh, replacing because when you are dealing with a json file you have to make sure that you are using the single quotes and quotes and you have to do some replacement it's a pain <laughs> when you are doing it using shell script but there are ways and uh, you can always you know do something like this basically use the json template and then replace these uh, variables with uh, basically these placeholder strings with actual values like description and name and that is it and then of course you need to pass this json in your curl command and uh, the method is uh, post and what i will do i will uh, open my terminal window and then i will pass in here uh, dashboard name 2 description 2 and i will run the same script and i can see here that we we have a response which is great i can see this here and uh, http2 200 great it looks good i will go to my list here list of all the dashboards and i'm using this system admin view because uh, i because the the user that i use for authentication is uh, or basically my auth key is based on a different user but i can see here that the dashboard name 2 is uh, created and it is private so this is of course very simple thing but what you can also do uh i mean of course that is it i guess because you you can of course you not know, take it further if you have to 
And if you go to my GitHub repository, the link is in the, in the description, you will find these scripts. Uh, if, if you run the same command, you will get an error because uh, there is already a dashboard with the same name. So, uh, but, but of course, when you're doing these things using your own script, you have to basically do the error handling. But it is good to know that now we can also create a dashboard using uh, a shell script, not a shell script, but using REST API. And that is it. That is all I wanted to talk about in this video. I hope you enjoyed watching this video and you learned something new. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.